guys like the top things to do in Catalina. to Colombia. It's definitely one of the best cities in Colombia and you gotta come here and check it out. There's so many amazing things. We know Catalina, this city has been since the 14th century. They have like beautiful colonial buildings, you know, colonial stone buildings. They have like, you know, nice beaches. They have like islands that are like really beautiful away from here. I'm gonna show you guys in this video everything about Catalina. The things that you gotta know before you get here, you know. We have like the fruit ladies over there. Can you show them? I just took a picture with them and that's a must you have to take a picture with them when you come to Catalina. So it's a beautiful city, you see I'm wearing shorts, the weather is amazing. It's almost like it feels like 90 degrees here. So you definitely don't need to when you come here, you gotta just it's summertime here. Like I always say, summer is a place, it's not a season. So you gotta come and check it out here. So stay tuned. Remember to like and subscribe. I'm going to show you guys the top things to do in Catena. Alright guys, another must thing to see when you're in Catena, Colombia is to visit the San Felipe Castle. This castle was built way back in 1657. It was built to protect the, the, the land um, Catena against the pirates, you know, who want to escape with silver and gold and take it to Europe. That's why it was built. And um, if you can see right here, look at that. Oh, it's standing right there. I've so many. And the background right here. So, let me show you. It costs actually $10 if you want to go in. If you want to go in, it's like $10, you know, which is very affordable to go in. You can go in. One of the most things that you have to do is visit it. You can climb and go all the way up there, you know, and just walk around and explore. And they have a statue of him right here. Walk to the left show the statue. Hey, 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 can I grab one? right here of yeah. so San Filippo. So it's amazing man, you know it's very good. Cool. This has been there for so long. Imagine they built this thing in 1657. That's when it was built. So you gotta put this in your pocket list. If you've not been here before definitely you should come and um, see it. It's what scene I'm telling you it's what scene Havana is one of my favorite cities so far. Yeah now I'm gonna take you guys to the next place that you guys gotta see so stay tuned but for now don't forget to like and subscribe we have a new video of different cities new countries every single week so like and subscribe smash that button man smash the like button for me whatever you want to do if you want freaking or anything you want to do but like and subscribe and stay tuned this place here this place here Plaza de la Aduana, and that building over there is called Aduanas uh, Palacio de la Aduana. Uh, in this building, we have the offices for the mayor of the city. And that building over there is a really actually new building. It was built because, uh, like 60 years ago, nobody was taking care of the heritage we have in the city, uh -huh. and they displayed. They, they, they put a law in, in place, right? And they allow the people to actually take all the stones and all the things as a building material for the whole uh, game, you know? Yeah. And uh, allow people to start taking uh, this, the city walls. Oh, okay. But actually, the rest of the city, this is this stopped several years ago. And then the UNESCO took over, and then this city, like a uh, World Heritage Place. Correct, and yeah. That stopped everyone from doing anything the build is so that's why we have these buildings okay yeah it really looks like guys if you guys can see that building right there the white building it looks different it's more modern than all these other colonial buildings it looks like it's, it don't really belong there it don't belong there at all look look at that one uh, compared to this one it's completely different 
It's a nice plaza, man. I like just how colorful this city is. You know, it's very colorful. Very colorful city. I like the right colonial now, buildings a lot, you know. Right now, the government allow, allows the people to have any kind of business here in buildings. Uh -huh. But you have to maintain the facade. You can do uh, whatever you want inside the houses, well, following the laws. Yeah. But you cannot touch the facade for any purposes than, other than restoring. Oh, okay. You can you see like... Along with this uh, Santuario de San Pedro Claver. Okay, guys, so we now we're in San Pedro's church. It's a really old colonial church. You can actually tell from the building. And, um, yeah. That is the statue of San Pedro. Okay, yes. He is one slave because all the things here from San Pedro was a, was a monk, a Spanish monk who actually wore for the rights of the African people that were coming here at that time because of slavery. Okay. So this place here is actually named of uh, the name because of him. Yes, it's named after him. After him. Right, yeah. exactly, yeah. So and as you can see there, the name is Santuario de San Pedro Claver, Sede de los Derechos Humanos. It's like human rights uh, place. Okay, it's a human rights place. And now we can come. I want to check the, the his statue here so you guys can see who San Pedro is. Who San Pedro was. Yeah, see, see. So this is actually San Pedro right there with one slave, right? Yeah. That's the statue of him and a slave. It's crazy, man. So. <laughs> See. This is one of the places that you have to come. It's a must come, and um, yeah, it's a must come, right? It's a must visit place. If you come in here in Cartagena, make sure you stop here. So now, guys, we're going to the rooftop. So inside the church, this is. Um, San Pedro Cathedral. It's actually a walking church, right? And um, you guys can see, and you can have like people there. You know, it's open currently. And they have people there coming, you know, say the choir prayers. Um, it's a very historic church. It's been here for so long, right? And um, they have actually a really old organ right here. It's very expensive. Amazing, um, definitely, man. Um, you guys need to come and see this. If you are Catholic, Christian, whatever. The outside, I'll show you guys the outside later. The outside earlier, the outside very, very Asian. It's a really nice time. Right there, if you zoom all the way in there, they actually have the remains, the skeleton of Pedro. Yeah, they actually have the remains there. Right there, that's his tomb. That's where. That's where they buried him, right? Yeah, yeah it's there. So, because of COVID, because of COVID, like, no one can go there right now, right? But before COVID, they used to let people go all the way there and actually see and look through it and they can see his remains, right? Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, it's awesome, man. Maybe, you know, after COVID, everything will go back to normal and you can come and um, have a quiet time and prayer, right? It's awesome. So guys, it's lunch time here in Catalina. We've been working like so much and um, we decided to stop for lunch. It's amazing, it's a beautiful city. You can walk around and go everywhere. So guys, it's lunch time now in Catalina and um, 
it's it's really a beautiful city. I'm walking around all day, you know, hungry now. This, I mean, this restaurant, and um, it's supposed to be a really good restaurant. You know? Just here waiting on the food, preparing the food. And um, one thing you gotta know actually about visiting Catayana during COVID, it's like they take COVID seriously. When, when, like, when you get in the restaurant here, you have to wash your hands, they check your, they check your temperature and everything to make sure you know, your temperature is normal. In my opinion, they take COVID seriously than the US. For sure, and my experience here has been nothing but great. And um, I highly recommend coming to Catalina. The weather is good, you see I'm wearing short sleeves and I'm wearing shorts and everything. The weather is amazing and I'm surprised that you even have Colombians from other cities coming here, you know, just to have a good time. It's an amazing city and uh, I'm excited. Um, one thing, another thing that I really highly recommend when you're in Colombia, please try to eat this local Colombian food. Don't come to Colombia and try to order a burger. You know, try to eat the Colombian food. That's what I've been eating since I've been here, you know. And um, just the, they just recommended me a really good local and uh, Colombian food. I'm waiting for it. I'll show you guys as soon as the food gets here. And definitely the enforcing, you know, you gotta keep your max on while you're here, you know, there's a lot of people in this restaurant and, uh, you know, people are still dining in, you know. Uh, yeah, but everybody has their max on, they only take their max off when it's time to eat. That's when you gotta take your max off. Obviously, you can't eat with your max on, so it makes sense. So, yeah, I'll show you guys the plate, so they, they make everything, like, right from scratch. Making the food right there. I'm excited, man. I'm waiting on my food right now. So hungry. Everything is here. Uh, here comes the soup. What is the name of this? I'm trying to show you guys. Sopa de pescado. Pescado, right? Okay, that's the Spanish name for this. Gotta try it. So, it's time to try this. Um, oh my god, it's amazing. It looks really good. when the main food gets here. The main course. Almost ready, I think. I'm excited, man. Colombian food is good. You know, I've traveled to so many places. I've been everywhere. I think my favorite local meal it's Turkish food. Turkish food is good, but it looks like Colombia is getting close to it. 
supposed to. Colombia might be second on my list right now. Hello, buenas tardes. You guys put that one stick of here. So the food just got here and it's looking amazing. I ordered fried fish, fries, and it came with a side salad. And some type of local Colombian cheese. And um, amazing. And all of this is 20,000 pesos. Which is like, it's nothing in US dollars. So Colombia is very, very cheap. Yeah, so guys, right now yeah. we're on Pastelier yeah, yeah, Island, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. So, this is from yeah, Cartagena, eh? this is where you get the view of the old city. You see the sea and you see all the boats. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Um, the whole city, the hotel, the hotel, the coastal, this and the whole city, uh -huh. the ship, the coast. Yeah, so I got my friend right here telling us about this city. Are you from out here? You from Cartagena? Cartagena, yeah. Man. Okay, you were born and raised here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so what can you tell us about here, like the people that want to come and visit Cartagena? Cartagena, that's maybe because I'm um, uh, 47 years the percent in Cartagena, man. Okay. Yeah. And um, what, what are the places that people can go and see when they come here? Because of the people, maybe because um, it's just a view of the city. It's a beautiful city. Because uh, because of like this, they have the big mouth. They got the Cartagena inside. When you go, we put it in here. Among the the uh, because of the the shopping, because of the. Forty odd years because inside the the old city, the shopping, the the, the commercial inside the corner, the whole city. Okay. This is more better, man. All right. Yeah, he's he's doing really good. A lot of people here don't speak English, but um, he's really trying and everything. But um, yeah, this is actually one of the places. It's really good. You can come here. You know, it's a lot to do here. So stay tuned. I'm gonna take you guys around on what to do and see in Catan. 